already got people in the chat room. That is what I'm talking about. Shane Sam's here from the Flip Lifestyle Podcast and FlipLifestyle.com. If you're here today in this free training, Three Secrets to Selling 1,000 Memberships Without Spending a Fortune on Ads or Working Yourself to Death in the Process, let me know. Go down to that chat box, click all panelists and attendees, and tell me who you are, where you're from. We got dozens of people already in the chat room today, people flooding in. Had a lot of people registered, hundreds of people registered today. So should be seeing a lot of stuff. See Kelly from the Jersey Shore. What's going on, Kelly? Hope the weather's good up there. Uh, let's see. We got Carrie Kitchen, Go Kentucky. Hey, Carrie, how you doing? We got Troy from, uh, I don't know how to say that, Latrobe. Is that how you say that? I don't know. Give me the uh, phonetic on that one, Pennsylvania. Let's see, we've got uh, Serena from Asheville, North Carolina. Awesome stuff, guys, good to see you today. Everybody go ahead and chime in. Tanya from Kentucky, what is going on? Let me know real quick, guys. One, if you can hear me. Two, if you can see me and let me know how my audio sounds. I'm gonna check all of my audio uh, stuff real quick. I've got my microphone, looks like it is correct. Um, and everything should be good. So let me know if I'm coming in loud and clear. Barb says, sounds great, looks great. Thank you, Barb. I, I think I, I, I took a shower today and I fixed, fixed myself up for this live training. So, <laughs> so appreciate that. Uh, let's see, Rich says, yes and yes, looks good. Has everybody found the chat box? I wanna make sure that you are in the chat, you're participating in the chat. Our public free live trainings always have a lot of amazing discussion. So make sure, tell me when you've got the chat box open. I want to know that you've got the chat box open right now and make sure that you can see everybody talking in the chat. I'm going to welcome a few more people here. We've got uh, Catherine from Tampa. I saw Diana from the Dominican Republic. I see Rachel from uh, Florida. Man, we got people from all over the place today. Let's see. We've got uh, Beth from uh, moving from PA to Tennessee. And uh, we got Travis from, we got a lot of people in Pennsylvania right now. I, mean, I think that, maybe I ran some ads in Pennsylvania last week. I don't know. We got Brad from PA, awesome stuff, good stuff. A lot of people in the chat. I expect a lot more people logging in and out today. This is going to be an exciting topic. I, I've been working on uh, this training for a while now because um, one, Jocelyn and I over at uh, fliplifestyle.com, you know, we have been in business now for eight years. We have started built and grown multiple online businesses and we have hit that thousand member mark multiple times in multiple businesses and just imagine that imagine having a thousand people paying you $25 a month or $50 a month or you know a hundred dollars every single month and we've done that multiple times and over the past six months to a year we've had a bunch of our members inside the flip your life community hit that milestone hit that thousand member mark we're trying to come up with a cool name for it uh the thousand member club or something because we've got a lot of people crossing into that threshold crossing over into that thousand member category and it's been really excited because not only have we been able to really study what we do uh, to sell memberships all we sell online is monthly memberships uh, that is all joss and i focus on every single day how do we give ourselves a raise every day you go get a new member and you gave yourself a raise for the next month right and we've been looking at how we've been doing it we've been studying dozens of people now and how they've gotten to the thousand member mark and we've been pulling the data and looking at different ways to get more people in and and to help people get there faster like that's the mission how do i get to a thousand members in my community. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to give you three secrets to selling 1000 membership. Let me know real quick um, in the chat box, who here uh, already has a membership and who here doesn't have a membership. If you have not launched your membership yet, I want you to go ahead and put, I have not launched my membership yet. Maybe you sell dif uh, digital courses. Maybe you're thinking about building some more recurring revenue. Let me know that. Let me know in the chat. Just say, um, I don't have a membership yet. And tell me what you do sell. And let me know if you have got a membership open. Is your membership open right now? Let me know, I, my membership is open, it is ready to go. Uh, put that in the chat box, let me see that, let's see. So we've got, uh, Tyler looks like he's launched his beta membership, Carrie's got her paid membership. Uh, she finally got a paid member into her membership. Oh, I love that. Hey, listen, if you can find one, Carrie, you can find a thousand and one, right? If you find one person that loves what you do, there's four billion of them connected to the internet, we can find a thousand and one more, okay? All right, uh, Brittany says that she has got her, her uh, membership done. Kelly says, uh, have to jump off halfway through. Let me know if there's a replay. There will be a replay. I'll uh, send that out to you, Kelly. Make sure you get that, okay? Uh, Kevin says, I've launched my membership, but I'm going to start a new one. All right, cool. 
All right, I, I have one that is open, 70 members. Beth has 70 members, that is awesome. That is, hey, listen, you're almost to that 100 milestone and that's the tipping point. You just gotta sell a few more memberships and you're gonna find that tipping point really fast. Tons of people with memberships open, love it. Love it, absolutely. Sandy says she has 170 members. That is awesome, Sandy. Well done, that's great. We got people flooding in there. That's amazing, all right? So, you know, this is a huge topic because building passive income, quote unquote, we're gonna talk a little bit about passive income today. I wanna to talk to you about how to, you know, run a passive, there's no such thing as free money, right? But we can have a passive income where we control our hours. I wanna talk a little bit about that, how you can build to a thousand members without working yourself to death. Um, Jocelyn and I spend very little money on ads. We do not spend almost any money. We've just ramped up our ad spending in the last couple months. Um, you know, we, we build our, all of our communities have been built totally organically with almost no ad spend, just enough ad spend to kind of push us apart. So you don't have to spend a fortune on ads to get to a thousand members. You don't have to work yourself into an early grave to get to a thousand members. You know, I work every single day from about 10 to two. Um, that's the hours that we try to keep. And uh, we'll get up, we'll take the kids to school. Joss and I'll go get something to eat or we'll go to the gym. Well, maybe we'll read and uh, spend some time learning, but we always try to finish up before three o'clock so we can go pick our kids up from school. That's what the flip lifestyle is all about. And you know, even with thousands and thousands of members, you know, we've learned how to manage that and keep that blocked in. You don't have to kill yourself with your marketing. You, don't, you just have to do the right things every day, right? And you just have to build systems to manage your memberships because that might be a little overwhelming for people to think, wow, a thousand members, how would I do that? But there's lots of ways to do that. You know, Jocelyn and I work four or five hours a day and uh, we do that. And a thousand members is a great threshold because it creates a lot of stability and security. You know, if you've got a thousand members, they're not gonna all quit in one month, right? You might lose 50 people in a month, but you still got 950. All you gotta do is go sell 51 to grow. So you really, really want to make sure that you're doing that. All right, I'm gonna turn my volume up just a little bit. All right, I upped the gain there a little bit. I saw a couple of people asking for that. Peter, how's that sound now? Can I, am I a little bit louder? I'm usually pretty loud, so I'll start with my gain low, um, but I do have the, uh, the volume up now, turn my gain out. Let me know if you can hear me a little bit better, Peter. And a good now. Thank you so much. All right, cool. Thanks for that. All right, real quick. So we're going to go deep into that topic today, how to get to a thousand members without spending a fortune on ads, without working yourself to death in the process or after uh, you get your members. For those of you who may be new to uh, me, uh, me, I am Shane Sams. My wife is Jocelyn Sams. We are a couple kids from Kentucky. Uh, a few years ago, we were school teachers. I was a social studies teacher. My wife was an elementary school librarian. I used to coach a little bit of football over here in Southeast Kentucky. And, uh, you know, after a few job losses, some bad boss on, bosses and some bad experiences with our kids in daycare, we decided that we had had enough of the nine to five, enough of working for other people, enough of the grind. And we built our online businesses and we were able to quit our jobs, replace our income. And now we have gone on to sell thousands of memberships, grow multiple companies, and we're here today to, uh, to teach you what we do. That's our mission in life is to help other families find the freedom that we have through online business to help you find and use your God-given talents to build a business for you and your family. Now, I don't sugarcoat much. I'm going to be very blunt with you today. I'm not going to try to you know, inflate numbers and blow smoke and all that stuff. I'm going to tell you like it is. A lot of people who listen to the Flip Lifestyle Podcast know we don't have any sugarcoating, no sugar involved when we do this. And um, I do talk kind of funny. I say a lot of y'alls, I say a lot of yeehaws, and I say a lot of things that we say here in Southeast Kentucky that you may not understand, but do not confuse my intellect for my dialect. <laughs> because if you do, you will miss something very, very important. We have helped thousands of people, literally thousands of people start building, grow their online business. And we want to make sure that you can do that too. So I think I saw Carrie from Kentucky. Carrie's from Kentucky. I think Tanya is in Kentucky. Anybody else from Kentucky or the South? Who's from the South here? Who grew up in the South? Any of the Southern states, right? All right, North Carolina, we got Brittany, we got Tanya, we got Carrie. Okay, so th those are your designated Southern interpreters today. Uh, we got some Kentucky interpreters, Appalachian interpreters, and Southern interpreters. If I say something funny that you don't understand, you just drop it over there in the chat. Make sure your chat box is open and they will help you to understand <laughs> exactly uh, what I am saying. Also, too, I do have a special. This is a free public webinar, but unfortunately, our bills are not free. We got to make a little money here, so we're here to make some money, too. Um, I do have a special today uh, for anybody that wants to join in. Um, I got a February special for my print 
marketing newsletter, Prolific Monthly. You can check the chat box right now. Today's special, you can get your first month of Prolific Monthly, my top shelf print monthly marketing newsletter for free. All I need you to do is pay shipping. We do have some shipping costs. We mail those out first class. We want to make sure those get there on time and in your hands uh, so that you have that marketing plan for February ready to go. I'm really proud of the February edition. Uh, it, it comes out and it gets mailed out, I think, on January 24th. So we want to get you signed up today. You can get your first month of Prolific Monthly for free right now. Go to www.prolificmonthly.com and use the code FEB2020, F-E-B-2020. All you got to do is pay shipping and handling. We'll get that issue to you. You can check that out. You can use that to grow your business, sell more members. Uh, I'm going to tell you some stories later. Had someone last month make $12,000 off their first month subscription to Prolific Monthly. Imagine that, you subscribe, you do it, you go make money, it's awesome. You can also click that link, it'll take you straight to the checkout page, you wanna check that out. I'll tell you more about Prolific Monthly at the end of today's presentations. There are only 50 coupons available, I'll be sending that out to our email list later this week, but I wanted to give you guys on the webinar uh, the first chance at that today. So free training today is brought to you by my print newsletter, Prolific monthly you can get that right now the february edition for free just cover shipping and handling and uh you can check that out today okay and i've also got some other goodies so stick around to the end and we will definitely get you those all right i think we got everybody here today one more piece of housekeeping and we will get started want to give everybody 10 minutes to get settled in but uh, down in the bottom of your screen you got the chat box open on your right everybody's gotta have that chat box open so we can talk and then we got the q a button if you want to ask a question I am going to do a live Q&A at the end of today's show, at the end of today's presentation. So if you've got any questions about memberships, about membership marketing, um, anything I can do to help you sell your first membership, your first 10, 100,000 memberships, uh, this is what I am an expert at. This is what I've been doing now for years and years and years, and I've helped so many people do it. And I would love to answer your questions about memberships today. So I'm going to be doing that in the Q&A box. You have to submit your questions there. As I go through the presentation, go ahead and ask your question in the Q&A box, and I will do a live Q&A uh, during that time, okay? All right, guys, got a lot of energy, got a lot of excitement, a lot of great stuff today talking about memberships. You know, everybody is switching to the membership model. Jocelyn and I have been preaching membership since 2015. We've been telling people, man, it's the best way to build stability. It's the best way to build security. Create recurring revenue. Create a community of people that pay you every month and that you get to serve every single month. That's really where stability in online business comes from. If you're selling digital courses, if you've ever sold anything online, you know that there's a high when you sell the thing, but then you're like, ooh, what if nobody buys tomorrow? What if nobody buys next month? What if my next launch, you know, goes to heck in a handbasket, right? And memberships build that stability so you don't have to worry so much. You know, Joss and I look at our lifetime value, our LTV and all of our membership businesses, and we can, we can say, hey, the average customer stays 10 months. We know we've got revenue 10 months from now. We can go make decisions like, ooh, should I buy some ads? Ooh, should I go hire somebody? We get to make those decisions confidently because memberships create predictable, stable income. Joss and I have sold thousands of membership. We actually just crossed our 5,000th member. We sold our, sold our 5,000th membership um, a couple months ago. And it's mind boggling to think that like over the last couple of years, we've sold 5,000 different memberships in different niches, everything from education uh, to online business. But it's not just us guys. We've got people in our community who are doing amazing things with their membership websites. Um, who listens to the Flip Lifestyle podcast? If you're not a subscriber to the Flip Lifestyle podcast, you need to check that out. But I'm going to drop a link to last week's episode of the Flip Lifestyle podcast. I don't know if you caught this, guys, but last week we had Jennifer Bradley on the show. Jennifer Bradley is such an inspiring person, one of the most amazing people that I've ever had the pleasure uh, to meet. Uh, that's a cool thing about our job is we get to see all these incredible entrepreneurs coming in and hanging out. And Jennifer's here. Jennifer is in the chat room. What's up, Jennifer? I did not plant that. I swear I did not plan for that to be there. But uh, man, Jennifer's story is absolutely amazing. And we've been a fly on the wall helping her uh, grow her membership ever since. You know, in 2017, I think it was, um, Jennifer came into the Flip Your Life community. She had been selling digital products, selling, you know, one-off stuff online for a few years, wanted more stability, wanted to maybe start working toward different goals, like her quitting her job forever and her husband quitting her, his job forever and all these things happening um, in the future. And she had zero members when she joined the Flip Your Life community. 
She set a goal inside the community to sell 300 memberships before Flip Your Life Live 2018. And uh, man, she hit that goal in the crowd while we were sitting at that event. I was on stage, she's in, she's in, in the crowd, and she hit her goal right there at the event. And then a year later, just one year later, you can see these tipping points, right? Like your first few members are hard to get. Getting that hundredth member, right? You gotta mark it, you gotta really work it every single day. And then all of a sudden there's a tipping point. Like just a year later, she got her thousandth member, 1,000th member inside the Flip Your Life community. Uh, I dropped her link there. I'll drop it one more time in the chat box. If you're watching this later on the replay, I'll stick that in the description uh, for the video to make sure you see that. But like, that's a real life person in a real life niche. She charges 26 bucks a month right now for her membership. She's got a thousand members on monthly and annual plans. And she has really set herself up to be successful, to be passive, to be calm, and to be able to grow that thing even bigger. So lots of people are out there doing this. It is not a pie in the sky fantasy that, you know, a thousand members, that sounds unbelievable. But remember, again, there's 4 billion people on the planet earth, right? You don't need all of them. You only need a thousand of them. That's a very low percentage of people to actually go out and join your membership to make this happen. Okay. So what I want to do right now, if I can get my notes to stand up, they're sliding off my paper here. So hold on one second. I'm going to use a post-it note to stick them onto my computer and hope that doesn't mess everything up. All right. Jocelyn's in the house. Jocelyn's in the chat room right now. We're in different locations. I'm over here at Flip Lifestyle World Headquarters and Jocelyn is over at Flip Lifestyle Home Headquarters. And uh, <laughs> she's, she's handling, she's in the forums right now. She's answering questions in our community forum. She's helping people uh, in our forums right now, take their business to the next level. And, and uh, nope, so she's not. She's actually at the salon. So Jocelyn is watching on her phone. I thought you were at the house a little while ago when I talked to you. So, okay. Jocelyn's at the hair salon getting her did. She's getting her did while I'm, uh, I'm over here doing a webinar. But she's hanging out with us. She's in the chat box. Okay. All right. So what I want to do today is I, I've really been studying this. I've really been looking at this. And I've, I've asked myself the question, you know, what does it take to get people to a thousand members? What does it take to help people get to a thousand members. Now, one, I wanna stress, it's not overnight. This isn't a miracle. If you're here for some miracle solution to all of your problems in life, well, you need to log off right now and go sell makeup for some MLM pyramid scheme or something and go do that. If you're gonna chase miracles, then go chase miracles. But we're here to be consistent, prolific and relentless and build our businesses brick by brick, step by step, like great foundations, build the walls, put the roof on it. It is going to take you a little bit of time to get to, you know, a thousand members. You're not just going to get to a thousand members overnight, but these are three steps that we have identified and that we are focusing on this year and in the future to grow our businesses, to help people in the Flip Your Life community uh, grow their businesses. Um, if you're listening right now online, look, I don't have any slides. I don't have any fancy PowerPoints or anything like that. When, when I read these points, if someone could type this in the chat for me, That'd be awesome. Make sure you're paying attention. If, uh, and if you've got questions while we're going through today, but I'm going to give you these three steps to getting to a hundred or a thousand members in uh, your community. Okay. So let's go jump into the content here real quick. Enough talk, enough stories. I'm getting off on tangents. Okay. All right. So the first secret to getting a thousand members without spending a fortune on ads, without working yourself to death in the process, the first secret to getting to a thousand members is relevant time-specific daily marketing. Relevant, time-specific daily marketing. Okay, let me go into detail about what this means. You know, a lot of us think we get too enamored with our products, right? All the features that we've created, all the benefits that we give people, how awesome we are like right now awesome we are inside of our communities and our things and whatever it's all about us right but here's the deal nobody cares about you <laughs> they don't they care about their life they care about their spouse they care about their kids and building a better future for their family they care about solving their problems they care about talking about what they want to talk about your marketing, if you're going to be a membership marketer, not just a digital course marketer, not just running some ads from time to time, not just selling yourself and out there and how cool you are, you have to become a membership marketer. You've got to join the conversation your avatar is already having with themselves, with the people around them 
on a daily basis. So imagine if you were at a party, you know, and you just started walking up to random strangers and say, hey, how you doing? You know, you started talking about whatever you wanted to talk about. Hey, I'm Shane. Let me tell you all about me. Like nobody's going to pay attention. That's going to be really hard. It's going to be very confusing. You're not going to, you know, nobody's going to pay attention to you. But, you know, if you're at a party, even a place you know people, if you walk up and you're with a group and you're kind of listening to the conversation and you hear two people talking about somebody that you know, a mutual friend, and you say, oh, I know them. Oh, cool. You know them. Cool. You're in the group now. Or, hey, I know something about that. Here's what I think about that. Hey, that's a good point. That is so much easier to build a relationship and get into the conversation they're already having than walking up cold and being a total stranger. And great companies do this all the time okay i was uh, just the other day i was driving by uh, what's it called planet fitness right and everybody at the beginning of the year was setting new year's resolutions new you new uh, person you're going to lose weight you're going to lose a few pounds all of their marketing was geared directly toward new year new you new everything because that's the conversation people are already having they don't have to say hey we're planet fitness look at our equipment our treadmills are nice there's a big alarm that goes off and whatever no they were totally focused on the the exact conversation those people were having i was just at, uh, we're, we're coming up on february february marketing is starting to kick in for everybody i was in starbucks the other day and they had an advertisement up, right? Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day gift baskets coming soon. Don't forget the Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day cake pops, they're coming soon, right? They're having the conversation that the avatar is already starting to think about. What am I gonna do on Valentine's Day? What am I gonna get my significant other on Valentine's Day? And they're trying to just jump. It's not about the coffee. It's about the conversation that they're having in their life right now. And it's every single day. The ad that works in January or the promotion you do in January is not going to work again in February or March or May or whatever, right? Jocelyn, I got you. Cake. I'll get you cake pop when they're out. They weren't out yet. It was an advertisement because they're coming out next week. Okay. All right. So I got you. I got you cake pop, babe. I'll get it for you. All right. That's my wife, Jocelyn, for those of you who may be new to the Lifestyle Podcast, hanging out in the chat room, trolling me right now while I'm trying to give a presentation here, baby. Okay, let's go. All right, so you've got to jump into the conversation. You have to have a relative, time-specific, daily marketing campaign that's talking to your people right now. You know, when Jocelyn got to 1,000, the first membership we ever got to 1,000 members was over at elementarylibrarian.com. It was Jocelyn's community for elementary school librarians, Right. She didn't go out every day and talk about how awesome she was, how awesome her plans were, how awesome everything was. She said, what's going on in my librarian community's mind, in their conversations, in their life this week? So she would say, oh, it's Dr. Seuss week. Dr. Seuss's uh, birthday's this week. Let's have a Dr. Seuss week campaign, right? Or it's banned book weeks. Let's have a campaign about banned books books and that would join the conversation it would solve immediate problems and help people in the moment with what they were thinking about right now you have got to do time specific relevant daily marketing if you're going to sell memberships now that doesn't mean you're working every day right a lot of you got emails who got emails to remind them about this uh, training today who got that who got an email in their inbox somewhere that said training today yep 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 yeah i scheduled those weeks ago right? Those were already scheduled. You can take a day and batch all of this time specific daily marketing, right? It's not like you have to work on it in real time. That's where passive income comes in. You work now and you reap the benefits later, right? So you can batch all of this stuff, but you've got to have a deep strategy for every day of the month to get members. You want to get members every single day of the month. People are at different points all the time on when they're going to join your membership. You've got to be involved in that conversation. So if you wanna get a thousand members, you have to have relevant, time-specific, daily marketing. So somebody type that in the chat box for me. Relevant, time-specific, daily marketing, and you've gotta jump into the life they're living. You know, football coaches were notorious for mine. Like, I, I sold my playbooks. I used to sell uh, playbooks to football coaches, and they would never buy anything after January because I wasn't, in the, the season was over. I, they were, I was not exactly having <laughs> right? Like the, the right conversation. Hey, you want to learn how to install this defense? Yeah, buddy. But practice is for seven months. So I'll talk to you then. So I had to go create something in the membership community. It was a weightlifting manual. That's what the conversation they were having in January. And I sold them that during that time. And that's what I marketed. That was my daily strategy from January to March was to sell my weightlifting manual. That was the conversation my coaches were having. Okay.
All right, if you got a question, Kelly, could you drop that in the Q&A box? I am gonna do a Q&A here in just a few minutes once I get through everything, and I'll be glad to answer that question, okay? But I don't wanna miss it in the chat. The chat goes really fast, okay? All right, so the next thing, point number two, point number two, is you have to ha build a content-driven relationship before the sale. You've got to build a content-driven relationship with your audience before the sale. Okay. Who here subscribes to Disney plus who's on, who is a Disney plus subscriber? Could tell me if you're a Disney plus subscriber who signed up the first day Disney plus launch. Cause you wanted to watch the Mandalorian or you wanted to watch your favorite Disney movie, or you wanted to show your kids, you know, snow white cause they'd never seen it before. Right. Who here signed up for Disney plus? I know we did. I know a lot of you did too. Type it in the chat box right now. Who signed in uh, to did the, to Disney plus. Okay. All right, who signed in to Disney Plus? All right, we got me, me, me since yesterday. All right, look, Disney Plus didn't come out and say, wow, look at all these cool features. Look at how it's laid out. Look at all these buttons. Look how you can save things. Look how you can do all these things, right? No, we didn't join Disney Plus because it was such an awesome product. In fact, they had some glitches on the first day. We all joined Disney Plus because of the built-in relationship that we had with Disney. You know, they bought all of our favorite movies from our childhoods, right? They own everything now. They own Star Wars. They own all the, uh, all the Marvel movies. They own all these things. So that's where we have to go and consume those things, right? We had a relationship with our favorite movies. We had a relationship from our childhood when we all grew up and we watched The Lion King and when we watched you know, whatever the Disney movie was out, you know, uh, at, at that time, you know, Cinderella, Snow White, well, all this stuff that we all grew up watching, we had this built in nostalgia, this relationship already available to Disney. Many of us have been to Disney. We've been to Disney World, we've been to Disneyland, we've been to Disney parks. We had this affinity, this relationship with Disney before the sale. And even with our kids, we take our kids to the movies. We just went and saw Frozen 2 the other day. You know, we take our kids and we see these Disney movies as soon as they come out because we know it's going to be awesome. We know it's going to be quality. We have this relationship before the sale because of all of Disney's content, because of all the content that is inside the membership and that relationship that lives inside the membership the day Disney Plus comes out, we all sign up for it, right? We have to build relationships before the sale. You know, maybe it's something like you go to, uh, I love to go to wrestling. You can see behind me here, I've got, uh, that's, a, that's an official uh, WCW belt from back in the day, uh, world title belt. That's a WWE championship belt. This is the million dollar man's belt. I collect wrestling belts. I'm a big wrestling fan. But you know what I did for years, man, when I was a kid, me and my brother used to sneak up and Bobby the Brain Heenan and Gorilla Monsoon would come on at 11 o'clock at night on USA. And we would sneak and, and turn the volume barely up and sit right by the TV. And we would watch all these wrestlers while my mom thought we were asleep, right? So we had this, we had this relationship with all this WWE content. And when I've got older and I started becoming successful and I started having disposable income, I said, you know what? I want to go to wrestling. So I bought a ticket to WrestleMania. I signed up for the WWE Network. I bought these stupid belts that Jocelyn hates <laughs> and makes me keep in my office because I had a relationship built on the content before I started spending money with the company, okay? This is what you have to do. If you want to be a true membership marketer, you have got to build relationships before the sale through your content. Maybe it's a podcast. Maybe it's your email list where you write people. You know, every Friday, I send out an email called Five Fails Friday. Who got, who in, in here in the chat box has ever gotten Five Fails Friday? If you're not on the email list, you're missing out because I talk about all the things that I screw up, right? Who loves the Five uh, Fails Friday email, okay? Nate says it's great. Carrie says love Five Fails Friday. That builds relationships with my email list every single week so that we can convince people we're real. Who listens to the Flip Five Style podcast and loves that you get to see inside of our lives. We talk about what we do with our kids. We talk about trips that we take. We talk about our relationship and the struggles that we have running a business as a married couple and all these things. And we're building that relationship before the sale. No one will give you money if you won't give them anything about your life, right? You have to have a relationship 
before you can sell people a membership. A membership is a commitment. A membership is joining my community, joining my tribe. Uh, uh, it, it's, it's a commitment that you're going to be there for, you know, and commit to your success and going forward in your life. And you've got to build that on that relationship. This works in real life too. Like think about how country clubs work, right? People don't just walk in and go, hey, how much is golf, right? At private country clubs. They usually know somebody, they have a relationship and they, that person invites them to come there and then they think about joining because they want to be with more people like them. And that's exactly how membership marketing should work. You have to drive the relationship first before you can make the sale, okay? Okay. So if you're not creating content regularly, if you don't have a good content strategy, don't worry. I can show you how to do that inside the Flip Your Life community. Uh, we talk about content marketing every month in Prolific Monthly, but you've got to have some kind of content strategy. Without content strategy, that's the only way that you can make money online, guys, is either roll up your sleeves or open your wallet. You can spend a fortune on ads, or you can have a great content marketing strategy where you start building that relationship before the sale and then people will come in. And not only will they come in, not only will they try your product, not only will they buy your product, they will stay. They will stay for months and years and they will be, pay you every single month as you continually serve them because you started the relationship in your content and then you grew it inside of your membership community, okay? All right, so let's recap here real quick. And then I'm gonna go into the third big tip to sell a thousand memberships without spending a fortune on ads or working yourself to death in the process, okay? Relevant time-specific daily marketing that you batch ahead of time, right? Batching ahead of time, having a plan at the beginning of the month, going in and setting up the plan and watching it roll out so you don't have to be working every single day. Relevant time-specific daily marketing that you batch. Number two, content-driven relationship building before the sale, usually through a video like a YouTube channel, a podcast, or a blog, okay? And your email marketing. Email marketing is critical in that. You got, that's where you really build the relationship. Uh, is through email marketing. And the third secret to getting to a thousand members, and this is something that we have only discovered like in the last 12 to 18 months, is trials, okay? You have to offer trials for your membership. This is something we didn't really do the first probably three years of running memberships online. We just said the price is the price. You pay at the door. We should have already built that relationship anyway, and this is how much that it costs, period, okay? But we have determined over the last year and a half and selling all, over a thousand trials. We, uh, we, we waited until we uh, rolled this out. You know, Joss and I, are, we try to be really responsible with the things that we study. Um, we do things anecdotally and then we watch our members do things and we get, we are, we're very privileged because we get to see, you know, thousands of businesses inside the Flip Your Life community. We get to watch what works, watch what doesn't work through the conversations that we have in the Flip Your Life community. And we were skeptical of trials at first. We were you know, we had all the great fears of what if somebody downloads all your stuff and all that stuff, right? And, you know, we, we had all these fears. And we finally, about a year and a half ago, I said, I'm doing it. I'm going to start running trials. So I started running all kinds of trials. Um, I started doing free trials. I started doing dollar trials. I started doing three months, you know, get three months, you know, for 30 bucks or whatever with a discount. We, we tried every trial that we could ever do. And over the last 12 months, we've actually sold over a thousand trials, over a thousand different trials. And we learned some amazing stuff from that data, right? There's not many people that have sold 1,000 memberships of anything, let alone 5,000 total memberships and 1,000 trials just by themselves. So this, there's a lot of data that we did. I, took, I spent a whole day just pouring over the data. I was getting on Jocelyn's nerves. I was over at the coffee shop. I was going through this data. Jocelyn can attest to this. I kept texting her. She was trying to do, she was in the forums. She was trying to like answer people's questions and she was checking emails. And, and I just, every five seconds, I was giving her a new piece of data uh, from, from our trial stuff. And I was driving her absolutely crazy. She was like, why did you go to the coffee shop if you're just going to sit and text me all day? Well, I know you're excited, but stop it. <laughs> stop doing that, right? Like, just leave me alone. But I, can't, I was so excited. Uh, <laughs> story of her life. I was so excited about all this amazing data that I was finding inside of this uh, uh, data set that I was just really pumped about it because I knew it was going to change our business. And I knew it was going to change uh, the future for a lot of people inside of our Flip Your Life community. You can see Brad here. He came into the trial about two years ago. Uh, and he I came into our community uh, two years ago, still here, and now he uses them too. It's awesome stuff. So here's what we found with trials. One, sales are easier for trials. It's just easier to get people in the door. They don't have to pay anything. They get to kick the tires, and they get to see what they want. Two, it's more ethical. 
I think that our products, I think Prolific Monthly is the best print newsletter on the planet Earth for marketing memberships. We think our program inside of the Flip Your Life community is the best program for real families to start, build, and grow an online business based on their God-given skills, talents, and experiences. We believe that. I don't care if you look. Come on in and look. We want to give you the trial so you can see inside of it, okay? So that's the first huge thing is it's easier to sell them. It's just easier to let people in the door for different amounts. Now, trials are different for every niche. It's not just about free trials. It's not just about other trials. In fact, uh, if, you, if you use the wrong trial, you can totally screw up your membership because you destroy your culture and things like that. So you got to be careful with trials. There's a lot of more nuance to this. It's not just free trials I'm talking about here. You might have a $200 a month membership. You need to have a $100 a month trial right? So you got you to you gotta play with these things. There's a lot, of, lot more to this data, but I'm just giving you the big picture, okay? So it's a lot easier to sell things if you get your trials right. Another thing that really surprised me when I dug into the data was that trial people actually stayed longer, like more months than people who joined on a normal basis. So like, let's say you have a membership and you charge 25 bucks a month, right? And let's say you have a trial that's like, I don't know, we'll just say $2. I'll just pick a trial. Okay. I, what I discovered was if the $25 a month people stayed for five months, maybe the $2 trial people stayed for 10. So the people stayed longer. And when I saw that proof inside of the data that trials are the deal, tri trials get people in faster and help people stay longer, all in. I, I, will, I will now do trials for everything that I do for the rest of my life. But again, you got to get, you got to do this right. You can really screw up your membership. You know, if, if you have a really tight knit community, um, maybe you only have a couple hundred people, but they pay a lot. You can, you, a free trial is a terrible thing to do because you could let people in and disrupt your community. But a free trial works great on some other stuff, maybe like software as a service or content based membership. So you've got to get the trial right. You got to experiment to understand that. You got to, you know, rely on some basic principles to do that. I don't have time to tell you everything about that right now. But like, you've got to get your trials right. But trials get people in faster and they keep people longer. Now that to me sounds like an amazing recipe for getting to a thousand members fast without spending a fortune on ads or working uh, yourself to death in the process. Okay. So let me go back over what I've discovered on all, uh, my three best secrets and tips for uh, getting to a thousand memberships. I know there's a lot of questions. I see six questions in the Q and a right now. I'm about to get to that Q and a, but I want to recap real quick to make sure that we're all on the same page uh, going into the Q and a. And I'm going to dive really deep with you guys today. I got plenty of time. Uh, on membership marketing, membership marketing. So any questions you got about memberships or membership marketing, right now I want you to hit that Q&A button. All right, the three secrets to selling a thousand memberships without spending a fortune on ads or working yourself to death in the process. One, relevant, time-specific, daily, circle daily if you're taking notes, marketing. You've got to have a plan. You've got to have a daily plan and you've got you've to give yourself a raise every day. You've got to market every day. You want to get members every day, not once a month, not once a quarter. You want members every day, right? So you got to have a specific time relevant daily marketing plan and join that conversation that your audience is having. Number two, you have to have a content driven relationship before the sale, right? Marketing doesn't work anymore on I see a commercial and I buy it. Okay. It's got to have a relationship that's built before the sale. And number three, you need to be using trials. You need to be using trials, y'all. Trials are the key to getting more members faster. Trials are the key to keeping people longer. We've seen the data. We've studied it. We know that we're right. And you've got to use trials if you want to get people in the door and you want to grow faster. But again, put the little asterisk there if you're taking notes. Do it right. you got to do it right. You need to check in the community forums. You need to ask people, talk about this. Pick the right trial. Uh, if you don't, you could disrupt your membership and, and create more headaches than you want. But trials help you sell more memberships and keep more people longer, okay? All right, guys. Uh, hope that helped you. Hope that wrote that down. We're not done by a long stretch. Don't go anywhere. Stick around right now because I got eight questions in the Q&A box right now. I'm about to answer all your questions right now. You're going to want to listen to these questions. Uh, most of the time, guys, we learn more from other people's questions than we do our own right? So make sure you're taking notes. Make sure you're checking that out. Make sure you're listening to other people's questions. If you've got any questions about membership marketing, all right, I want you to go ahead and ask those right now. Before I jump into the q and I want to remind everybody here, this is a public free training that we wanted to give to our audience. Um, I've, I've been studying memberships and data for a month, and I really wanted to share this with as many people as possible. But if you have a membership and you want to sell more memberships and you need help selling more memberships in February next month, 
Um, check out Prolific Monthly, my print newsletter. I send this out every single month. Uh, I got a little, I got a copy of it here. Um, every month I write an article, a detailed report on membership marketing. Guess what this month is about? It's about trials. I'm going in deep in the data to show you what I discovered about free trials, uh, dollar trials, 50% uh, off trials, quarterly trials. And I'm going to be talking about that this month. Every single uh, issue is listed out like a workbook. So you can take lots of notes, highlight, work through that. And the real meat of every issue is the daily marketing calendar. I will tell you exactly how to market memberships specifically for February. We got an amazing marketing opportunity in February other than Valentine's Day. It's called Leap Year. We got an extra thing. I got an awesome promotion that I've got scheduled up right now for February. Um, taking advantage of Leap Year. Um, I'll walk beside you and help you uh, market your membership every single day. I'll help you do that. And I really want you to get that detailed report on trials. I'm gonna go deep into that. So, hey, it's normally $99 a month to get this newsletter and it's worth every penny. We had someone last month sent me a message. They used uh, in the first issue, the first subscription, they made $12,000 in one month just for subscribing uh, to Prolific Monthly. And we want that to happen for you too. You can check it out right now. You can get your first month free. All you gotta do is cover shipping uh, for me. It's like nine bucks. We ship those out first class, double envelopes. We make sure that they get there in really good shape. So I'm gonna let you get your first month for free for Prolific Monthly right now. All you have to do is go to www.prolificmonthly.com. Use the code February, oh, I'm sorry, Feb 2020 to get that. Or you can click the link in the chat box right now or in the description below this video and uh, you can get that. That is good until January 23rd. I only have 50 coupons available. Uh, we will be emailing this to our list as we get closer to the print date. We ship on January 24th. Uh, you do not get back issues. There's no way to get it after that date. And uh, you can get your first month of Prolific Monthly free right now if you sign up. All you got to do is cover shipping and we will get those mailed out to you next week. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to jump into the uh, questions. Okay. First question up is from Kevin and uh, he says the 1K club. Oh, I was talking about my, that'd be cool if you got a shirt, wouldn't it, Kevin? Said the 1K club, right? We could do other shirts too. We could do like, uh, we could do the, uh, the century club. Like if you made it to a hundred and uh, stuff like that. So maybe uh, that, that's a good idea, Kevin. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull that out there. Get a little t-shirt going. Okay. All right. So uh, let's see. I'm not sure how to say your name. Fadli, F-A-D-L-I. And uh, man, you have a beautiful name. Will Hundar, Phil, uh, Fondili, Will Har, I don't know how to say this, but I, I, I'm from Kentucky. We can barely pr pronounce uh, normal English words right, and I do not know how to read this. So once again, phonetic explanation would be amazing inside there, okay? All right, uh, uh, I'm gonna say Fodley. Fodley says, for membership plans, which one is better, $50 a month or $600 a year? Pay up front, okay. So here's the advantages of monthly and annual plans. Joss and I have sold a lot of monthly and annual plans. We've really researched this. We do a lot of quarterly plans. So what we like to think of, here's how we think of our membership website. We sell monthly memberships. That's it. That's what we sell. We want you to buy the monthly membership. That, that cleans up our marketing. That lets us not worry about it. That lets us get a raise every day. That lets us, uh, helps us figure things out. Like, hey, the average uh, lifetime value of a customer is eight months whatever. So, you know, if, as long as we get a monthly member in, we can assume that's an average monthly member and it just kind of cleans up the data. Now, here's the advantages of quarterly and annual plans. Offering, that gives you new promotions. You just reward commitment to get more money up front, right? So, I might for a week of the month sell like monthly plans. Then maybe for a week of the month, I'll sell a quarterly plan. Buy two months, get one month free, right? It's just a promotion that lets you get somebody in and, and you're, you're, the trade-off is you commit to me, I'll give you a discount. And annual plans are really good too. It also depends what your needs are. You know, like at the end of the month, if you look up at your bu uh, budget, this is the power of memberships. And you say, hey, you know, I would love to have, a, man, I, I would really love to have $1,000. We've got a trip next week. I, we'll go out and have an, an annual promotion and get yourself an influx of cash. I love an annual promotion at the end of the quarter because that gives me ad money for the next quarter. So really, we all sell monthly memberships. That's the core offer. And you have to think about it that way up front, okay? And you can use the annual and the quarterly prices to lure people in and get them to take advantage of those savings in certain times, create some scarcity and urgency in the moment. Hey, I can save some money if I join today, right? Those can be uh, weapons in your tool belt for that, okay? So um, I would say you sell monthly, you offer annuals and quarterlies um, on discounts. Uh, we have both on our sales pages right now. I actually do not have an annual plan uh, set up for prolific monthly. We actually don't do that every once in a while, maybe like a black Friday deal or something. Um, that one is exclusively monthly. 
And um, I want to make sure that people are signing up monthly uh, for that so I can really get the numbers uh, detailed because it's kind of a new business. Um, it's been about, it's about seven months old now. And uh, it's going really well. It's, my, it's probably my favorite thing that I get to work on every single month. I spend like two weeks researching and writing uh, Prolific Monthly every, uh, for everybody. So check that out. Uh, Jocelyn, uh, with the, the last couple of days I'm writing it, I'm like locked over here in the office for like eight hours a day, like crushing it and finishing it up and, re and rebooting it. Jocelyn edits it. And, uh, you know, so that's, that's my favorite thing that I get to do. But I only sell that monthly. And uh, you can actually sign up right now and get the first month for free. All you got to do is cover shipping. And uh, I'll send that out to you. So check that out over at uh, prolific, www.prolificmonthly.com. February, 2020. Okay. All right. Let me see. Answered that one. If you got more questions, we've got a ton of questions in there right now, but go ahead and answer them in the Q and a anything about membership marketing right now. Check that out. Thank you, Jocelyn. I love you too. All right. Let's see. Rebecca says, I understand that you offer people to come into your membership during the first seven emails, but if they don't join, when do you offer again on webinars looking for a system to still bring people in, even though they are in the long-term nurture. Okay, so Rebecca, this is a really deep question. All right, in general, what, what Rebecca's talking about, if you're a member of the Flip Your Life community, and um, if you wanna learn more about that community, I will drop that in over here. FlipLifestyle.com slash flip your life. Trademark, don't copy it, okay? All right, flipbox.com slash flip your life. You can check it out. We have a course where we teach uh, how to set up your first autoresponder sequence. And it's a seven day email sequence designed to get people to join fast, right? So, but not everybody joins. In fact, the uh, 80-20 rule says that most people won't join uh, in that first seven days. We're just trying to collect the low hanging fruit, all right? So then we have what's called a long-term nurture sequence, which is an automated email sequence. Maybe it goes out once a week or once every other week to make sure that we're continuing to build that content-driven relationship. Everybody remember to say that? Um, over the next few months, we don't want people to just like, you don't know when people are gonna buy. You know, we, we've, we have people all the time send us an email. It's like, hey, I've been listening to you guys on your podcast for two years. I finally decided to join the membership. I love it. I can't believe I didn't join uh, anytime sooner. And Hold on, my phone's ringing. Turn that off. That's a pro move. All right. So people will come in, they'll say that because the nurture sequence what kept them. I choose uh, daily marketing. I choose, uh, con I, I really go deep into that strategy of what is the conversation that my audience is having right now, Rebecca. And that's actually why I created Prolific Monthly is because that's how we continue to market. You know, the seven days is over. The next day, you're probably going to get an email from me. I'm going to invite you to a webinar. I'm at PS. You can join the community right now on a trial. Uh, hey, here's a new podcast. Don't forget, this person's in the community. You should join the community too. Once, if I don't get them in that first seven days, right, with my general autoresponder, that's the same for everybody right now with the assumption that they found us and I can get them in the community within a week, right? Then I have to go to daily specific marketing with the conversation they're having right now. So next month, the way that I'm going to get people to join our memberships is I'm going to tie it to conversations they're already having. The Super Bowl. Everybody's going to hear about the Super Bowl. I bet we can come up with a promotion. February 14th, Valentine's Day. We can come up with a promotion. Leap year. This only happens one to four years. We made a ton of money the last leap year because we did a promotion on leap year last time we did it. We were in business the last time there was a leap year. So we know what to do. And like, you know, we're going to talk about these things in the February issue of Prolific Monthly. Like that's where we really uh, get into it. Okay. So like you, you got to go to the daily relationship building, the daily marketing mentality. And you have to wake up every day and say, what is my customer thinking about? How can I join that conversation? And then how can I tie that conversation into what I sell? If I can do that, then I'll do it. So the system per se can be built. You know, Jocelyn had an annual uh, email autoresponder that was built based on the school calendar. Like that's the same every year. Christmas is always December 25th, right? So January 1st is always January 1st. So she would just build, she built a calendar and she would just use that every year. So you can definitely build the, the common things that you have, but you want to be able to jump in and talk about what's going on in the community. And you want to have a daily strategic monthly planning, quarterly planning session to say, what are we going to do next, right? This myth of create a passive autoresponder that sells forever is, is a myth. It's not true. You have to, if you start a business and you start a membership, right? You are going to be in business. You didn't, it's not, hey, I, you know, three years ago, I set this up. I did that. No, I do this. This is my system. This is how I only work 10 to two every day, but this is, I do go after it every day. And I think about this every day. And I'm always trying to serve my members and figure out new ways to reach them. Because if you're really passionate about your product, like I am passionate 
about getting everybody to sign up for Prolific Monthly and everybody to join the Flip Your Life community that I come in contact with. Because I know what it's done for us and I know what it's done for hundreds of other people and I know it works. So like I, I, sh I should get up every day thinking about how I'm going to get a new member into the community because that's somebody moving from death to life. That's somebody building a better future for their kids and their family. I got to get up every day thinking about that. And you've got an awesome mission, Rebecca. I know, I know what you do. You got to go out there and be that passionate and say, what is my person thinking about today? And how can I tie that into my community, get them joined and then strategically plan that out over a month and batch it all up. Okay. So that's the system batch up stuff that your person's already talking about, how they're thinking about it. And, uh, and you'll be able to build that. Okay. Awesome question. All right, we got another question from Nate. Nate says, did you notice in all of your data any difference between a $1 trial versus a $7 trial? Okay, so what I, what I actually would consider that, okay, it, the, the price point of the trial is gonna be totally related to the price point of the actual membership. A trial for a $999 a month membership, and I know people that sell those, right? I got a buddy that sells a, uh, uh, a monthly program for $1,000 a month, right? We sell another product uh, for $500 a month. It's a one-on-one -on -one coaching program. Uh, it's only for members of the Flip Your Life community or prolific monthly subscribers. And you can join that and you can work with me and Jocelyn on an app called Boxer. We just talk back and forth and you can ask us questions whenever you want to. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like the fast pass at Disney. Like you can go in the forums, you can wait every two weeks for our member calls or you can buy the fast pass and you can get directly to me and Jocelyn during the week. So like those trials would look very different. It's not about getting, there's no math. There's no magic. Oh, the dollar trial is better than the $7 trial. It's what's the best trial for this membership, right? Like when I work with all the people inside the flip your life community, I don't say, Ooh, you should do a $7 trial. That's what works for you. No, I say, tell me your membership, tell me your price, tell me what the, the deliverables are. And now we pick a good trial that meets that, those needs and matches your customer. So there is, there is no magic number there. That's what I'm gonna talk about when I go through the data and the trials. I'm gonna talk about like what we discovered, what I've discovered looking at other people. Like I had someone that did a trial for $99 a month for three months. Like that was a crazy thing, but it was a higher ticket product, right? So they had, they had to do that. Um, you know, like for example, like right now, you know, I'm, I've uh, pitched a prolific monthly subscription, my monthly marketing newsletter design, the only newsletter that I know of that's designed specifically for memberships and a day-to-day -day calendared plan on how to market your membership sites, right? But like when I was coming up with a different trial version for that, I still had to cover shipping. I have to mail this thing. This thing is not a digital copy. Like, yes, there's, I, I'll send you, I, I send you the calendar a week early so you can start working on it. And I do do a live q and I'm going to be doing a live Q&A on January 27th, only for Prolific Monthly subscribers for the February edition of Prolific Monthly. But I have to mail this physical copy to you so that you can get in it and you can write in it. You know, like uh, greatness flows through your fingertips and your lips, right? You got to say it and you got to write it down and you got to circle it. And like, that's what you do is what you write down. So like, I have to mail that to you. So when we were working up trials, we said, hey, it's got to be free plus shipping. We need to absorb that cost uh, into the thing. Yeah, we'll give you the hundred dollar. It's a hundred, it's $99 a month, but you know, like we have, we have members making $12,000 just from subscribing to this $100 a month thing. But I had to come up with a different kind of trial there. Like $9 seems random, but that's our shipping costs. I mean, we ship this thing in a double envelope, super hard, uh, first class to make sure a uh, priority mail to make sure that it's not bent or anything when it gets to you, hopefully. And like, you can pull it out and it's fresh and crisp and, and beautiful and you write on it and it works and it's, uh, on this really high quality thick paper and ink. So that trial looks different than a dollar trial or a free trial uh, for some of our other things. I've done, uh, we did a trial membership at Flip Your Life Live. Um, normally it costs uh, $2,997 is the base price uh, for our all access package, right? It's another, it's another coaching package that we sell. And we did a trial where we waived that upfront fee and we let people in uh, at the uh, live event for $500. It was a trial membership. It just worked for them. So it's not about the price. It's not about the dollar trial versus the $7 tri trial. It's about the picking the right trial for your business. And that's actually what the, uh, I'm going to be talking about in the February issue of Prolific Monthly. It's going to go into detail, like all the things we learned from a thousand trials last year, all the things we've learned watching all of our customers do trials and like, and questions that you can ask yourself about how do I pick the right trial? Uh, to make that work. Okay. All right. So check that out. If you want to subscribe to prolific monthly, you can go to www.prolificmonthly.com. You can use the code Feb 2020 F E B 2020 and uh, check that out. That is being shipped out on January 24th. So you only have about a, 
what is it, a week to 10 days left uh, when you're hearing this. Once we ship out, we do not do back issues. You cannot get it after that day. There are only 50 uh, coupons available to subscribe and get your first month free. Uh, all you got to do is pay shipping and handling. We will ship that out to you right now. So check that out over at Prolific Monthly, www.prolificmonthly.com, or I've got a link right to the sales page uh, where you can sign up for your free issue plus shipping today, okay? All right, so let me see. I've answered this one, and that's done, and I've answered this one, and that's done. Uh, we have an anonymous attendee out there. What do you think about Mighty Networks for courses and membership communities? Okay. All right, so here's my, here's my philosophy on all this thing. Now, that question could have been asked a hundred different ways. Like, what do you think about Wishlist, which is a plug-in for WordPress for courses and membership communities? What do you think about LearnDash? What do you think about BuddyBoss? What do you think about Kajabi? What do you think about ClickFunnels? What do you think, what do you think, what do you think, what do you think, right? Now, there are advantages to some of these places, right? We actually prefer, but this is just our preference, we prefer Kajabi. We're trying to uh, look at moving some things over uh, to Kajabi. Prolific Monthly is actually hosted uh, on Kajabi. If you wanna check that out, go to flipfivestyle.com slash Kajabi. Um, I'll drop a link to it. In the chat. Um, but, but here's all you need. It doesn't matter what you use. All membership plugins do, guys, is protect your content, right? And uh, on top of that, they, they protect your content and they take money. They process the payment. That's it. It doesn't matter what you use. You just have to create three things. You got to create three things. You got to create um, content uh, in the form of curated courses. You got to have a plan. You got to have a path. If you go into the Flip Your Life Blueprint, we have a path from start to finish. If you've never started a membership before, how to do it, right? You follow the plan. You got to build community. So you need some way to talk to people. I've seen successful members do it in Kajabi. I've seen successful people do it with Mighty Networks. I've seen successful people do it with uh, Facebook. You'll probably find a millionaire using everything, right? Every platform has got a millionaire using it, right? So if you like that platform, that's, that's good too. Um, and then you need to provide leadership. You know, I, Joss and I show up in, on Q and A's. That's how we provide leadership. We do two Q and A's a month for Flip Your Life community members and we do uh, about anything in online business. And then I do one Q and A for each issue of Prolific Monthly. The next one is on January 27th. That is a Prolific Monthly subscriber only where I will help you on your day-to-day -day marketing for February 2020. Uh, you can check that out. Um, but but like, like that's how we provide leadership. So if you can provide those three things, it doesn't matter the platform. Don't get... Uh, tied in to the platform. Um, the reason, uh, what are you looking to move over to Kajabi specifically? Uh, Daryl, we're thinking about moving everything over to Kajabi. We're going to start maybe with our education sites. We've already got Prolific Monthly there. And we're just making sure that it could meet the needs of our community because they've got some new, uh, they just uh, launched some forum integration, which is really sweet. And I want to check that out. And I, I just love Kajabi's platform. The back end simple, the data is simple. Um, I'm more interested in it for the data and the simplicity of it all. And also, you know, our membership costs thousands of dollars to run because we have so much, we custom built ours basically from scratch. So we've got a lot of stuff going on in there. We have to hire developers to help us with it. And I'm, uh, we're just, but, but untying, you know, thousands of sales and members is a lot harder than starting a new membership from scratch, right? So that's why you can't just make decisions about switching networks. But, but my point is, don't get caught up in the platform. The platform has nothing to do with it. That's like going into a store and, and looking, you know, you got, you're going to the store and you're trying to buy a 12 pack of soda or whatever, healthy people, water. Okay. So you go in and you look, you're, you're buying stuff. That's like evaluating the shelves. Oh, these shelves, you know, they could be, these could be a quarter inch thicker. You know, I really don't like the way they're fastening the shelf. The shelves are just the thing the product sits on. That's your platform. Okay. So don't get caught up in the platform. Pick something you can use, something simple that you can create courses, community, and leadership. If you can do those three things, everything's going to work. Um, actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, right now, if you want to, I will, uh, I will, uh, anybody that signs up for prolific monthly, I have a course in the flip your life community called the membership mindset. And I will include uh, access to that for free for anybody that signs up today uh, to my monthly newsletter. So if you want to get uh, prolific monthly, you want to check that out and you want to sign up and you want to get your first month free, you want to go out and you want to sell some more memberships. I mean, imagine if it got you 10 more members at $20 a month. If you sold 10 memberships because of this magazine, you basically would get it for free. You'd get $200. That would cover your next two months. Then you go sell 20 more, 30 more. And all of a sudden you're blowing it up and you're getting, you know, $1,000 back for every hundred you spend on Prolific Monthly. Uh, but if you check that out, I will actually go into the course area for Prolific Monthly and um, I'll include the membership mindset, which is an entire course that we have 
on how to set up a membership and uh, platform independent. Okay. So if you want to check that out, prolific month, www.prolificmonthly.com, use the code Feb 2020. And uh, you can check that out in the description or the chat box below. Okay. All right. Crystal Harper, who is a subscriber to prolific monthly and used prolific monthly to blow her email list up and has been doing great things. Crystal Harper's got a question. Crystal says, should I have a trial displayed and available at all times for my membership? This is a great, this is a really good question. Um, I currently only have it available to new email subscribers. That is an awesome question. I mean, everybody, somebody give her a standing ovation in the chat box. I want to see some clap, clap, claps typed in that chat box right now because that is a really, really deep and powerful question. Okay, it depends, right? I don't think there's anything wrong with displaying a trial. Okay, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Um, a lot of people exclusively do the trial, right? They just put that, that's the only thing you can do. Uh, you can sign up for free, right? So I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think this is going to be more of a, of a preference issue. Um, I don't like to do it. I don't like to show the trials because one, I want to control when they're offered because one of the most valuable things you can learn as an online membership owner is managing the influx of people into your community. We all want more sales. Like I want to open the door to prolific monthly this month. And I want thousand people to join. Come on in, give me, you know, sign up, subscribe, let's go. But I have to be careful. This is a print newsletter. There are massive logistics that nobody ever sees to get this to, to doors all well, right now we have subscribers in like 30 states and like five countries in the world. It is not easy to make sure that everybody gets that. Like there's logistics involved. And if we get a huge influx of people, that's a problem, right? So that's why there's only 50 coupons. Like, you know, like uh, uh, people have signed up in this call and they're ticking around right now. And if you've not signed up yet for Prolific Monthly, you are missing out because those 50 coupons are going to go away and there will not be, a, you can't get the first month free anymore, right? So like I had to limit that because I know that logistically the company I use to print these, we can add about 50 at a time before we blow everything up and we, you know, people stop getting things and all of a sudden we created a customer service nightmare for ourselves. It's the same thing in the Flip Your Life community. When we first launched, we did three beta trials. We did a, a course for 20 people, a course for 20 people, somewhat of a Facebook group type community for 20 people. And then once we figured everything out, we launched our membership. We sold like 120 members the first uh, day on a webinar. And, you know, and, and now we've learned how to handle it. Like I could handle a thousand people coming into the Flip Your Life community now because we really, really want to know what's going on. Also too, depending on, uh, uh, Tanya made a really good comment here. You also want the right people to join, right? Um, your trial can be used to limit people. Like it's amazing the psychological difference that we've noticed. Um, I'm going to dig into the numbers in Prolific Monthly in February and the, in the uh, trial case study. But like the difference between a free trial and a dollar trial was astronomical. Both were good, but man, the, the person was different. The amount of money they spent was different. What they did in the community, the success rate, like all that was different. Like uh, even, and then when you, it was crazy because you would compare a dollar trial to a $99 trial and they would look different. Like, so you got to be really careful to get your trials right. You got to be really careful protecting community culture. Um, you know, memberships are powerful because, you know, you can give yourself a raise every day but they're also chaotic because you're, you know, you're, you're bringing a lot of people and you're leading a bigger tribe. You know, if you're a general and, you, and you're running an army of a hundred people, that's a whole lot different than running an army with a thousand people. Right. So, so, so you gotta be careful with displaying it publicly. I would always uh, lean on trying it, testing it. I would never say that there is a good or bad place to do that. Um, I personally choose not to for our memberships because um, it also, uh, you can use trials to create urgency and scarcity. Like we're going to do a trial. I got one of the weeks next week in February in prolific monthly is, uh, is going to be a trial experiment. And I'm going to lay out how to exactly to experiment, um, with your trials, right? I'm going to show you how to do cohorts and all sorts of things to experiment to see what kind of trials work best for you. It's going to be in prolific monthly this month. So like when you, when you go in there and you read that and you look at that and you try it and you experiment it, like that's how we know, uh, what's best for you and your business. Um, but again, you got to do it right. You got to protect community culture. You got to, you know, make sure you can handle it logistically. Uh, you know, the, the title of this webinar was without working yourself to death, right? So, you know, you get a thousand new members all of a sudden in one month. It's great. A lot of money, but you know, it, it's another thing too. So I'll, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, Crystal's a subscriber. So Crystal, you will get to see that. I'm going to do uh, the case study and we're also going to do uh, one week of trials next week. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. Awesome stuff. All right, guys, got a couple more questions here. Uh, let's see how many questions. Looks like I got seven questions left, but um, I'm good on time. So if you want to ask a few more questions, um, check it out. 
go ahead and hit that Q and A button. You can drop a question in. I will get to as many of those as I can. I've scheduled this webinar through 1.30. So I will check that out. I got about 27 more minutes. I love answering your questions. I love helping you build a better future for your family. If you would like to subscribe to my monthly newsletter, Prolific Monthly, I'm gonna pitch that one more time for you guys. This is a print newsletter where I tell you what to do every single day of the month in detail to market your memberships to your audience, to your list, how to build your list, how to build those things and how to get more members. It's normally $99 a month to subscribe, uh, but I am letting anyone who wants to subscribe for February for free. I love you guys so much. That's my Valentine's Day gift for you. So go to www, gotta type www dot prolific monthly dot com go feb 2020 feb 2020 or if you are in the chat or looking at the description of this video later on the replay you can click the link i've got a link directly to the coupon code and as a special bonus um, because someone asked a great question on today's training uh, i'm also going to throw in my membership mindset training my membership mindset training is going to be in that for free where you can uh set up your membership, make sure it's structured correctly. And as you bring people in, we're also going to be doing a trial run for trials. Uh, next month, I'm going to be telling you how to do that. And I'm going to show you how to promote every single day, a lot of great marketing opportunities. Uh, and that there's nothing else on the market anywhere by any expert or anyone else, uh, especially people who have sold as many memberships as I have, or have helped as many people sell memberships as I have. So check that out. It's my favorite thing that I get to work on every week. And I cannot wait to ship that to you next month. You can get a copy for free right now. All you have to do is play shipping. That's uh, prolificmonthly.com. All right. Kathy says, thinking of doing a seven-day trial for $7. Should I roll them over into a discounted monthly option or discounted annual option? I roll people into a monthly option that is not discounted. I don't discount the actual monthly price or very rarely. Um, it would be, it'd have to be a special tr promotion for that, like to do that, like maybe a 10% off monthly or something. Um, I would just roll them into your normal monthly price and then write an email sequence to upsell them into your annual. So treat it like a ladder and they're moving up the ladder. They discover your content. That's the bottom of the ladder. The first rung is a trial. So they get into your content. The second rung is an automatically renewing monthly membership. Make sure that is very clear on the process, on your uh, sales page and order forms. And then um, have a nice maybe five to seven email sequence after that to upsell them into your annuals, okay? We wanna build the relationship, right? It's like going on, going on a date, right? Hey, you wanna meet for coffee? That was great. Hey, you wanna meet for dinner? Let's go to dinner. Hey, you wanna go to the movies? You know, like you're building the relationship as you go. You're not trying to like jump to the end of the relationship, you know what I mean, right in the beginning. So I would go seven days, $7, uh, let them in. And um, I, one of the things that we're going to talk about in the case study next month too, Kathy, is we actually found that longer trials work better. They were, they were, they were new better. So um, I'm not sure if I would even do the seven day. I'd almost do a month. Make, make people get hooked on your product and uh, do that. But that's, that's the general flow of that sales funnel. Okay. All right. So Rachel asks, so if you have a product ready, but you are still working on your membership site, should you just go ahead and sell your course? And then when the membership is ready to offer, uh, offer them a free one or two month membership because they previously bought the course. Well, I would say that you already have a membership. You have a course that's one leg content that you can put inside your membership. And the only way to get to the course is inside the membership. Two, you have a lead, you're the, you're the leader. You already got a leader for your community, right? All you need is a place to talk to people. That can be Zoom. That could be a webinar every week. That could be a Facebook group. It could be anything. Like, so I would actually say, you already have a membership. You're taking too long and you're looking at the platform again. You're, you're, you're back to analyzing shelves. Like, why not just put that behind a paywall? Join to get access every month. Do a live call once a month and give people a place to talk. And you'll do that, okay? So check out the membership marketing course uh, that I'm gonna include with Prolifer Monthly next month. Um, when you buy it today, I'll try to get it in this afternoon. It's not in there right now. I'll, uh, cause I just, someone just asked for it. So I'll put that in there. And uh, if you subscribe today, you'll get your month of, uh, a prolific monthly and I'll drop our membership mindset course. I'll show you exactly how to lay this out. But I, I, if you have a course and you're breathing, you're ready to open your membership. Did everybody hear me? Who heard me? Say, I hear you, Shane. Somebody give me some amens or something in the, in the chat box. If you have a course and you ha are breathing, you're ready to open your membership. Okay. All you gotta do is have a place to take money and open your course. Okay. All right. So check that out, Rachel. All right. We got, uh, let's see. I uh, answered that one. All right. Brittany says, as far as content marketing, I am planning to use my blog, although I would say the majority of my members come from Instagram. That's interesting. 
Um, but that might be, they, they may be reading your blog and discovering you from Instagram. There might be some synergy there, Brittany. So I wouldn't just um, assume that they're coming from Instagram. That might just be where you happen to share your membership link in your bio or something, right? Um, I, I would dig into that number to know for sure. But I know that isn't a long-term strategy. My struggle is that I'm not sure what to give away for free on my blog and what should be reserved for my members. I don't ever want my members to feel like I'm giving away information. Oh, I love this question. Uh, that they are paying for. Okay. So here's what I have to say about content and information. Okay. Everything that everyone in this room right now teaches is taught for free on the internet, period. Period. It's out there. The sum of all human knowledge lives on Google and Wikipedia and YouTube, period. Every word that's ever spoken, every language that's ever been taught, every picture that we know of, every, every painting, everything that you teach is on the internet for free right now, somewhere. That's not what you actually sell, Brittany, okay? What you sell when you have a membership site is you sell the organization of the information. You sell the curated path of the information so that they can succeed faster, right? You know, you could probably go back over the last five years of the Flip Lifestyle podcast. You could probably listen to all 300 plus episodes of our flagship show. You could go listen to the hundreds of questions that we've an answered in the Flip Your Life community. And you could listen to all, you could listen to all this stuff. It'd take you, take you years to be able to get through all the content that we created, or you could join the membership and do step one. And when you're done, do step two, because that's where the curated path for the information lives. That's where we teach it to you. There is a big difference in discovering information and being taught information. And that's what a membership leader does. You give them a path they can follow passively. You're there to answer questions when they get stuck. And that, that's what they can't get from the information. I would, I would say this, you could take every single thing in that community or whatever you developed and give it all away for free somewhere on your site just randomly. People would come, people would look at it, people would watch it, people would still join because they want Brittany. They want the path. They want all these other cool people that Brittany has brought together around her personality and brand inside of this membership community so that they're not alone, right? That's what it's all about. It's giving people the path. You know, that's, that was actually the inspiration for Prolific Monthly. The reason I write this newsletter, and I'm not just trying to pitch it again, which I will pitch it again many times. But like, the reason I wrote this is because I got a lot of questions in the Flip Your Life community. Like, people were like, hey, I understand this marketing concept. I loved the, the training that you did about it. But man, I just wish someone would tell me what to do every day of the month to market my membership. And when someone said that to me, I was like, wait a minute. I'll do that. And I started creating this print newsletter that literally says February 1st, batch this. February 2nd, send an email. February 3rd, do this on social media. I, it literally is, is written in a path. Like, like anything I teach could be found. You could probably look up a case study on free trials and dollar trials and trial memberships somewhere on the internet. But you're here because you like to listen to me and Jocelyn. You're here because you follow us online. You're here because you know we've done it. We've been there. You trust us, like, right? We've sold 5,000 plus memberships. We've helped thousands of other people start building and grow membership communities. Like, you know that what you're getting here. So, like, that's what you actually sell. You're selling access to you and the trust, access to the community you build, access to the curated path to victory. That's what a great membership community does. Okay. So, never think it's about the content. People come for the content. They stay for the leadership in the community, right? And if you can get away from this information game that everybody else is playing, that, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a road to nowhere, right? Because all memberships, every, all content is eventually free. If you'll find it if you look long enough, right? It's like my history teacher website. You know what I do on there? I actually curated um, a list of 185 videos that people could go. And, here, and here, here's, here's what the videos are. They're YouTube videos. They're available for free. Um, I'm, I'm not selling the videos. I'm selling the list to, to find them, but I watched them all or, or a guy that I hired helped me watch them all. We know they don't say bad words. So you don't have to worry about that in class. We know they don't have any nudity. So you don't have to worry about that in class. We know they're all 15 to 20 minutes long. They can supplement any lesson you're teaching, or you can go to YouTube and you can spend three hours a night finding them yourself. Good luck or sign up and you get the whole list. So like we're paying people pay for cur curation. Okay. 
Oh, you got to call it Steve. And Brittany said, oh, that's good. Thank you for that. I needed that reminder about why to join the membership. It's organization and close access to you. Yes. And, and it may not even be access to you. Like, I think sometimes we overestimate um, how much people want access to us. It's more access to what we can do for them, right? People don't really always want access to me and Jocelyn, right? I'm sure some people like us. But, like, what it usually is is that people want access to the answers to their questions fast. And they don't want to search through Google and YouTube and dig and who is this person? Do they really know what they're talking about? They're like, no, it's Shane and Jocelyn. I listen to their podcast every week. We built a relationship before I join. I know they're trustworthy. I know they do what they say. And like, I follow Prolific Monthly. Like you will see the marketing when you sign up for this thing. You will actually see me do the things that I say to do because this is how we feed our family. This is the marketing plan that we use to sell memberships. Uh, this is what I'm betting my family's future on. And that's, and then I give it to you. You're like, wow, he's doing it. It must, it must be true. All right. Great question. Uh, let's see. Andrew Vickery says, I have an SAT course for sale. How can I make that a membership? Um, I would say probably like a six month study prep leading up to it or like a three month membership that leads up to uh, the actual, like maybe, maybe someone failed the SAT, they take it, they study for three months and they go take it again. And you just keep helping them until they pass or get the grade that they want or the time that they want. Um, that one in particular has a limit because kids take the SAT once in their life. Like you've got that year, but you could sell it as, you know, one year to the SAT score of your dreams. And you could do like a 12 month membership. Another way to sell a membership too is like, let's say you charge a, a 997 for that course, Andrew, you could do payment plans. Uh, where they pay you monthly and you can build some good consistency there. Like if you get a good six month to 12 month retention on that, that'd be, that'd be probably pretty good. So um, that's a finite thing. I would also then choose to sell them something else. Um, so maybe it's a college prep program or you could have a second tier or a second membership. Like usually what happens is people come into the flip your life community, build their platform. And then uh, if you have a membership, if you're launching your membership, if you have any kind of audience whatsoever, if you have an email list of 100 people, your next step is to sign up for Prolific Monthly. So I sell ne the next thing, right, that you need. So like that's probably what I would do in that, that situation. Brittany says, I have another question. Um, the data of a membership is so overwhelming to me. I don't know what to track, how to make predict. Okay, uh, I currently have no strategy because I can't keep track of all the data. Let me simplify this for you. How many members did you start the month with? How many members do you have at the end of the month? That'll tell you if you grew or shrank. That's the first thing you need to look at. I started with 100. I ended with 105. We grew five members. I started with 100. I ended with 95. Oh, membership went down. Need to, need to do an extra webinar next month, right, to make up for it, okay? And then the next thing you just have to study is how long does the average month person stay? Like, look, look and say, oh, well, the average person pays $100 a month for six months. That's the average, right? You just do an average. Like, all the people, all the months they've been there, divided by that many, average. Well, if you know that, you can make predictions, right? Like every member's worth, you know, if you got six months, they're all pay $100. That's the average. The average person's worth $600. So if I go get two people, I just made $600 because that's the average. So like those are the only real numbers that you got to worry about um, is first day of the month, how many members you got? Last day of the month, how many members you got, right? Um, other things that you can keep up with, I do keep up with cancellations, like how many people actually canceled last month and how many units actually sold last month. And that'll help you with some term, but like, don't, don't overcomplicate it. Like, do you have more members or do you have less members? And what is the average they stay? That lets you make predictions on hiring and investing. That also lets you uh, know if you're growing or shrinking, okay? Hey, hey here's, here, and here's what you do next. If the number goes down, go sell more. If the number goes up, go sell more. That's all you, that's all you gotta do and your, your membership will grow. All right, all right. Tyler says, uh, best way to get your very first member. Okay, Tyler, the, the, what I would do first is, you gotta focus on getting an audience. You gotta create consistent content. All right, here's my philosophy in life. Y'all ready? Consistent, prolific, relentless. Consistent, prolific, relentless. Consistent, prolific, CPR. It will give life to you and your business. I'm gonna write a book called CPR, Consistent prolific lens. You have to consistently create content to get followers and build an audience. You have to prolifically every day market to those people and you have to relentlessly sell. Like how many times have you saw this in the chat box today? Hey guys, I have right now, you can sign up for prolific monthly at www.prolificmonthly.com, Feb 2020. You can get your first month free 
For Live for Monthly, it's normally $99 a month, but you're going to get your first copy for free. All you got to do is cover shipping. It's going to be nine bucks. Make sure I can get it there and in uh, really good shape. I'm going to be doing a live Q&A for Pro Live for Monthly. You're going to get that in your hand. I'm going to send you the calendar. We're going to review it on January 27th, and then you're going to get this thing in your hand before February 1st, and you're going to have a daily marketing plan to sell more memberships and take your next steps to one, a hundred, a thousand more members. All you got to do is sign up right now. Click the link in the chat or the description. You have to relentlessly sell. You've got to be seen to sell. I told you at the beginning of this webinar, you know, everybody's like, wait, what do I do? Do I wait to the end to pitch? Who was here at the beginning of this presentation when I said today's training is brought to you by Prolific Monthly, my, my top shelf membership marketing newsletter? No, man, I got to let you know I got something for sale. Like I'm giving you a lot of free stuff. I'm answering a lot of free questions. Hey, I'm selling you something in return, right? I'm going to sell you a free trial to my membership. Right, that's what I'm gonna sell you. Like I had to be sell. If you consistently create content and grow an audience, if you prolifically market to them through email and social media, and you relentlessly tell them you've got something to buy, hey, I've got to stay warm, dry, and fed. I've got kids. I got six lights pointing at me right now, and somebody's got to pay the bill. So I'm selling something. That's what we all are doing online. We're capitalists, right? I'll I'll sell you something to teach you something. You go make more money, buy something else from me. Woo! That's what it's all about, right? Like that's how you do it. So if you're consistent, prolific, and relentless consistently creating content, growing audience, prolifically uh, doing uh, marketing and relentlessly selling stuff. You will get that first member before you know it. And I'll tell you what, you might get it in February, Travis. If you go sign up for Prolific Monthly, I'll send you an issue for free. Play ship, you just got pay shipping. All right, got off my soapbox there. Woo, I got fired up right there. All right, Kevin says, my new niche, uh, uh, small business marketing. How would you start getting uh, my first 50 founding members at $97 a month? Oh, okay. Should I start in my local city? Hey man, Kevin, you can start in your local city if you're consistent, prolific, and relentless, right? You can start in your, on your local social media if you're consistent, prolific, and relentless, right? If you're consistently creating content and building audience, you're relent and you're uh, prolifically marketing to them every day of your life and you're relentlessly selling something and saying, hey, I'm a business. This ain't a trick. Like I'm, I'm selling you all the stuff that took me 10 years to learn, but you're going to get there in a year and it took me 10. Yeah you'll get your first 50 members, but you've got to do it every day. Marketing is not, I did that. It's I do this. I wake up every day. I have to control myself on Sundays because I take, I force myself to take a day off. You understand? I like absolutely force myself to, to, uh, to, 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 to get in here and stop working because I want to market every single day. Why? Because I know this stuff will change people's lives. I know it will change my family's future and I've got to do it for them because that's my responsibility. So you get out there and do it. You got to do it. That's how you do it. All right. Your con Kevin, I know you, I know your content's awesome. I know you're awesome. I know your product is going to help a lot of people. It's just time to take the daily steps of marketing that thing, getting those first 50 members. If you know five people personally, call them as soon as you get off this webinar, you tell them about your membership and you've got five founding members. Go do it. Okay. I'm on my soapbox. All right. Fired up today, guys. Had two cups of coffee this morning. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Uh, would you limit the number of members to a beta launch? Yes, I would. I would definitely do that. Um, Ty, if you're, Tyler uh, is asking basically like, okay, I have no members. I'm, I'm getting ready to launch. I've got an audience. Ugh, should I limit it or just let everybody in? There's a temptation to let everybody in, right? Ooh, more money. Right? I'm making a lot of money now. No, but you will get overwhelmed. Your community will not feel served and, you, and it will suffer, right? It's like, it's why I, like for today, I have a 50 coupon limit to get that uh, February edition of Prolific Monthly for free. Why? Because I know that the logistics in our company right now for that print newsletter, I can add about 50 people a month without taxing the logistics of my copy person, right? The person who's actually doing that. I'm increasing capacity. We learn more about the newsletter every single month. We're actually thinking about setting up. Um, I'm actually thinking about leasing commercial printers and doing it in-house because if we did that, then our kids could come and they could help us stuff the envelopes and they would have a job and I could pay them like for their job. They could just go do that to a couple hours a day. And like, so we're actually thinking about bringing that in house, but that's not, that's six months away. Right. So I got to think about my logistics and like your, uh, your guy, you, when you launch, like you got to learn how to manage the people. Right. So I would recommend somewhere between 20 and 50 people for a beta launch. That is a pretty hardcore number that we've seen uh, be successful. Um, we started with 20 and we did that three times. Um, so, uh, you know, start with 20. It gives you some good scarcity to pitch at the beginning of your membership launch and uh, it'll help you get more members faster, get some people to take action. Hey, I've only got 20 spots, I'm not going to do any more spots. Uh, this is it. And then every time someone buys one, you email the list again and say 19 left, 18 left, 17 left, and you get this countdown effect going. So 
Um, I would definitely limit that for sure to uh, protect the culture of your community and protect your sanity as you learn how to manage your uh, membership. All right. Dustin says, if you are not doing ads, what is your best acquisition channel? Consistent content as much as possible. Be prolific. Um, uh, all, all search engines, websites, and iTunes, everybody, they reward consistency and prolific content creation, right? Um, you know, John Lee Dumas, Entrepreneur on Fire, uh, got me and Jocelyn know. He built his business just, he, he didn't know anything. He just started making a podcast every day and the, and the algorithms loved him, right? So consistent, prolific content creation is the best way to grow your audience without spending a ton on ads. It does take longer because you can't, uh, but you, if you, you, can, you almost want to be surgical with your ad spend. If you just consistently create content and start building a following, you can use a little bit of money to retarget those people that find you and sell them into your membership. You don't have to spend a fortune on the ads, right? Um, but you do have to create consistent, prolific amounts of content. Um, I'm usually live a couple times a week. We're creating Q and A's and stuff all the time. I'm in the membership twice a month. Um, I do a prolific monthly Q and A. Um, I do these live trainings. Uh, we create a podcast every week. Um, and we've got all kinds of stuff rolling out on YouTube this year. So building content, there's only two ways to make money online. Roll up your sleeves or open your wallet. If you ain't got a lot of stuff in your wallet, roll up your sleeves farther and get to work, right? If you've got some extra disposable cash, push your sleeves back down to your elbows and go spend a little money on that advertising budget. You'll be all right, okay? All right. Pat says, to build your audience, do you post on multiple social outlets in the same message uh, on any day a given post? Yeah, I usually repurpose my content everywhere. Like, it, it, you make one thing and share it in 100 places. Like I can take this video from this training today and I can put it on YouTube. I can put it on Facebook. I can put it on LinkedIn. I can put it on our blog post. Um, I can email it to our list. You know, like there's a lot I can do with this one piece of content and uh, it's all batched up. So um, yes. And uh, you know, the, the plan is make one thing and share it everywhere. That's what you should do. You should make one thing one day a week and share it every day, everywhere you can. Okay. All right. Great questions. Uh, Tyler says he signed up for prolific monthly. That's what I'm talking about. We got a new subscriber in the house over at prolific monthly. If you want to get your first issue of prolific monthly free, I'm a minute. I got, we got a lot of people still here. I want to really go into detail and tell you all about prolific monthly and what it's all about. So hang out for that. Awesome. Tyler can't wait to talk to you on the 27th on my live Q and a for prolific monthly subscribers only you're in the house. Uh, Laura says, what's the best way to market to homeschooling parents? I would think about what they're going through at the time. So like, what's happening in the homeschool calendar or what's happening with the kid you know like a homeschool kid won't do history until their junior year right so target parents of people who are between 15 and 18 you know homeschool parents with uh, on facebook or google and with an ad that says i'll teach your kid this subject or whatever um you know go to you want to be consistent and prolific go join every homeschool group on facebook and talk in them all spend two hours a day talking to them, building relationships before the sale. Like I told you earlier, um, you got to get yourself out there and go. And um, you can actually target homeschooling parents very easily in the ad platforms. I think, I think Facebook, when you start a Facebook ad, you can just type in homeschool and it'll, you can target parents with certain age kids. So it's really super easy to do that. Okay. Also create content. They want to read like how to pick the best curriculum. Like people, homeschool parents uh, pick uh, curriculum between spring and summer. I know this niche pretty good because I'm actually going into the homeschool niche with uh, one of our websites, our education companies. So like I've been researching it a little bit. So they're looking for, you know, curriculum in the summer. That's when you target curriculum. And, you know, there's a gap there in May and June and July. I'd love to fill with uh, people buying history curriculum and stuff for their kids. So, um, you know, research their calendar, know their calendar and be prolific and, and market to them every day. And let's see, our last question today. Uh, oh, Kevin was asking me. Um, wouldn't a fulfillment house be easier? I'm thinking about sustainable business for the long haul. Kevin, you know, Kevin's asking about prolific monthly, like fulfillment, like how do we fulfill it right now? We do an out, out of house company, but I am a big believer in, uh, controlling the means of production. And I can't control if my copy guy ever is going to go out of business. And then I got to find a new guy next month, but I'll tell you what I can control. We can control Shane and Jocelyn. We can control Sam's Digital LLC. We can control prolificmonthlypublishing.com, right? Or whatever. Like we can control that. And I like to be able to control it. I also think that there's something value in there, like of my kids being able to work in the company and doing something they could easily do. Like I can print these and then they could, I could teach them how to print them. I could teach them how to stuff them. I could teach them how to put the labels on. Um, so there's other things that I would like to do besides that. Um, I don't look for what's easier. I look for what's best. That's what I want. I want what's best 
for me and my kids and my family and my business. And that may be counterproductive. That may be contrarian. That may be somebody else might look at me and go, you're crazy. Listen, I am in a mastermind and two of the guys, actually three, really, three of the guys sell high ticket products. And they always look at me like I'm crazy, like, cause I'm selling low ticket memberships. And that's what I want to do. <laughs> that's what I think's the best. Like you can sell your high ticket. They got sales teams and this and that and the other. I don't. I got me and Jocelyn and a couple people helping us send some emails. Like that's what I want, right? So it's not about building a business that's easier or sustainable for the long term. You know, like to me, it's like, I think this is more sustainable. You can disagree with me, but you know, this is what I want to do. And that's what's so cool about online business. When you get your own income, when you get successful and you get to be able to do that, you can start calling your own shots. You know, I, I choose to do things a little bit less efficient. Hey, look at this webinar today. Y'all came to a webinar, all of you. There was dozens and dozens of people here throughout this call today. There's still 40 or 50 of you left, right? And like, have you seen a slide? When was the last time you went to a presentation without a slide deck? You know what? I've been saying all this off an outline. I didn't write any of this down. I didn't practice this. I just know my stuff. I know how to do memberships. I know marketing. I don't need PowerPoint slides. I don't need anything more than an outline. I need to know what you need to know. I need to decide what I'm going to teach you and I need to let you learn it so you can go do it and you can change your family's future too. Okay. So make sure that you're doing what you want to do uh, in your business. Okay. All right. So I got one more comment here and then I'm going to close this thing up in a second. Um, Okay, so that's, that's an idea question. I got one more question from Naomi. I'm going to read that in just a second. But uh, real quick, one more time, over in the chat box, I am going to drop my uh, links for Prolific Monthly. I want to help you sell your first 100 or 1,000 members. You know, guys, this thing right now, it's $99 a month for this. This is my top shelf program, uh, uh, print newsletter. It's something I actually physically mail to you. I do a live Q&A at the beginning of every single month to make sure you know what you're going to do for your marketing in February because that's what it's all about, being consistent, being prolific. That's why it's called Prolific Monthly. I help you every single day of the month to get that stuff out. It's a totally unique product. There's nothing on the market that I've ever seen like it that is specifically designed for memberships. It is a daily calendar. This isn't theory. I do do a case study or something in there to give you some really specific tips, but everything is planned out for you all day, all month long. It's a day-to-day -day calendar. It's workbook style. You can sit in there and write and highlight and physically do it and go back and flip around through it something totally different. Get away from your screens for an hour and actually plan and do something. It's all action. There is no theory. We're going to talk about detailed case studies of other real people selling membership. You know, Joss and I have access to all the experts in the field. We've got uh, access to hundreds and hundreds of people in the Flip Your Life community who are doing this every single day. So we get to see tons of the data. I include subject lines, uh, tips for copywriting as we go through each day and we're writing emails, doing social media marketing. Uh, we talk about a lot about webinar marketing. I help you get better at doing what I'm doing right now, which is a live presentations. You get to come in and ask me questions on January 27th. I'll be doing my February prolific monthly only member Q and A. And uh, you can ask me questions about the guy to get you a digital copy of the calendar itself uh, just before that. So that you can make sure you look through it and get started before the month even begins. We've had people get massive results. Crystal was here today. Crystal used Prolific Monthly to get her membership launched and get her mem uh, email list over a thousand people. Uh, Brianne just sent me an email the other day that said, I made $12,000 the first month I subscribed to Prolific Monthly. Imagine that. If you, if you could spend $99 and you could trade it for $12,000, it's not really that big of a, you can. Like what if you have an annual plan that's a thousand dollars and you sell 12 of them because of the stuff that's in this, okay? If it's, uh, We've got Blair who used Prolific Monthly Strategies to build a business of up to $30,000 a month in her recurring revenue business. And I put my money where my mouth is. I follow the calendar. This is the information that I use for my family's future. And you know if I'm going to trust it to keep us warm, dry, and fed, to keep our lights on, and keep our business moving forward, that you can use it too. So check that out. You can get your first month free. In February, I'm going to have a special report that, uh, of everything I learned from selling over a thousand trials last year. I'm going to have the print calendar. It's going to show you exactly what to do in February. Don't forget, this is a leap year. There's some special opportunities that you're going to have in February to market. Um, you can, uh, there's going to be a private call with me on uh, Monday, January 27th, where pro, uh, Prolific Monthly subscribers can ask me questions. No members of the community, nobody public. This is only for subscribers. 
Special bonus, I'm gonna send you a digital copy on the 26th so you can look at that before the Q&A and get your questions ready to go. And I'm actually uh, gonna throw in that membership mindset training. Anybody that signs up today, you will get free access to our membership mining, uh, membership mindset training. So I'll show you exactly how to set up your membership, how to manage your membership, and how to only work a few hours a week. Even if you get your thousand members, I'm gonna show you how we do it in our membership mindset training. So all that together, guys, this is a I mean, you could easily buy all that stuff for a thousand bucks. It's normally $99 a month, uh, but you can sign up right now for free. Go to www.prolificmonthly.com and use the code FEB2020, or there's a link in the chat or in the description right now. Get your first month free. All I'm asking you to do is cover shipping and handling because we do mail those out in a really nice package. That's www.prolificmonthly.com. You can get the special report on trials. You can get the print calendar to show you what to do every day in February. I'm doing a live Q&A on the 27th. Uh, you get the bonus digital copy that's going to come out right before the Q&A and that uh, membership mindset training. All of that, first month's free. All you got to do is cover shipping. Okay, so check that out. Click the link. Thank you guys so much for coming today. Let me jump in and get Naomi's question right now real quick. Uh, I can't think of something to teach online. I just asked a group of friends for something that I'm good at that I could teach. Many of them said drawing and lettering. I guess I'll start there. Thanks for what you do, Naomi. All right. Uh, Naomi, make sure you're in the Flip Your Life community, fliplifestyle.com slash flip your life. Watch the courses on ideas. Um, we have an idea course to help you pick and choose your God-given talents, skills, and abilities that you can use to build an online business. We also have one called Researching Your Idea, where I'll show you if it can make money online. And for a little inspiration, uh, look up Evan Burst, the cartoon block. Um, he has hundreds of thousands of followers on YouTube and Facebook. He's a member of the Flip Your Life community. He started teaching people how to draw comic books. And uh, he was able to quit his job at Marvel Studios. And now he teaches online. So you do have abilities. You've got those God-given skills. You've got those God-given talents. You've got those God-given abilities. You just got to use them, put them out there for the world to use, and you'll see great things happen. Okay? All right, guys, check it out. Prolific Monthly. Until next time, guys, get consistent. Get prolific. Be relentless and do whatever it takes to flip your life. We'll see you then. Love y'all. Peace.